Creator Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create some interesting designs using gradients. Now, just first thing to do, just go to the gradient tool and then just go up here for the various gradients. Now, there's a whole range of gradients that come with Critter, but we can do, you can actually add additional ones. So I'm just going to go there and I'm going to go for a segmented gradient. Now, you could, of course, go for stop gradient, but I'm going to go for this one, segmented, and you just get a very basic start point at this point. So now you can just change that and change the color. I'm going to go for say orange and I can change that to maybe green. Click OK. Now move that around and I'm just going to now right click and I'm going to go split segment. So now I've split that. Now I can move that back. I can just go only so far, you know, it just just goes there. Let's move that along. I can obviously go all that way. Now, what I can do then, I can change the color. And I'm just going to quickly change the color there to, it's going to go for black or more like purple, I suppose. Click OK. And now go for orange there. Right, so you can see you can create some interesting. Now, you can also just go here, split segment. So I'm just going to split the segment again. And I can then just move that around. I'm just going to go for maybe white. So you can just see the there. And again, you can modify that, make that there. Then you just go over here and again split segment. And I can move that, move that, change the color. And I'm just going to go for blue. Just a range of different colors. I'm just going through things. There's other options. There's mirror, and so you can just do various things. You can create some really interesting combinations. I'll probably do a video later on that one. Now, give it a name. That's the best thing. So I'm just going to go for seg1. Very original. Now, there's a whole range of different options here. Curves, sign. Again, I'm going to do videos in the future on that sort of thing as well. You can also modify various things just by changing that to SHB, CW, obviously counter clockwise in counter and clockwise. Do that as well. Now, close. Seg1 has been defined, and you can see it over there. I'm not going to go anymore. You could, of course, create thousands of different gradients just by using the same techniques, the stop or segmented. Now, once you've actually done that, what you can do, just go there, gradient tool, and you'll notice go over here, you've got linear, you've got a whole range of tool options. Quite a light, nice selection. Actually, I like these shaped. Shape's a nice one. A bit like shape burst in Photoshop, but to be honest, this is quite a really, really good feature. Um, I'm going to go for radius in this example. And you can also use repeat, which is really nice as well. It's a nice feature that would love to see more application. Nice little repeat option. And I'm just going to go for forwards. And, and I'm just going to apply the gradient. So, now I'm just going to apply it like that. Now I could apply it very, very short there. So you can see you can create more. So you can just, just do it very short and you can see you can create just a very intense gradient at that point. Now what you can also do, you can actually just go over here and oh, before I do that, I could actually create, I'm just going to go down here, filter, other and wave. And you can see what you can do then, you can actually sort of distort it. I'm going to play around with this just to see what comes out of it, 40. Create some nice distortions there. Wavelengths, 20, and you can 120 there, 40, and so on. So on. you can also make a triangle. Not so nice. Sort of got a little cutting effect. I like the more curved sort of design there. Now, once you've actually created that, you can see you've got a nice sort of curved design. You can tweak it again. You change. You can just see what's it like that as well. Maybe it makes it more obvious what's actually happening. Click OK. Now, once you've done that, you can go to a layer and I'm just going to duplicate it. So I'm just going to new duplicate layer mask. So I've now got two copies of that. And what you can do then, you can just transform it. Just going to go over here to the transform and you can see, get some well, bits of it. <laughs> Don't know what they are. Anyway. What you can also do, you've got over here, you've got perspective, which is quite nice. So you can actually just 
add that and distort that that direction. So you can do that. Now, what you can also do, of course, you can just stretch that out all kinds of ways to create a really weird gradient design. So you can do that, and once you're happy with that, okay, so it's done. Now, also I can obviously go back to that background. I can just go to Layer and New and Duplicate the game and do the same. I'll just go just quickly modify that and maybe distort it a different direction. Move it over there. Oops, just move it over slightly and distort it that way. You can distort it in all kinds of ways. I'm certain you can probably stretch it in weird and wonderful ways. And there's of course lots of other settings as well over here. You can set to distort it, warp, cage, etc. But I like I like perspective, it's a nice one. So distort it that way. And you can obviously continue to build up a very, very extreme and unusual gradient to maybe make it a bit nicer than that. Press turn. Right. And, and now just get on back on screen again. And there you have it. A very, very odd sort of gradient design using gradients, warping, wave, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.